Nana, please. Nana, please. Nana, please. <clears throat> Listen, I don't even got no goddamn kids. I heard that baby say Nana, please, ten motherfucking times. I confirmed it. Four times. I listened to it. Four times. Even more than that. Actually, I listened to it the first time at work. New sources. Seji Hito, my nick, my nigga. Okay. Look, that is a reliable, very reliable news source. Black Excellence Tube, of course, on Instagram. African American Health on Instagram and Colossal on Instagram is where I got my news sources from. I don't got no net. I didn't go that deep because I'm not one of them that go that deep. So I'm going to always shout out who I rely on because honestly, I've been listening and researching those people for years. I research on my own. I'm selfish with my research. I just do it in my own time. I'm a new YouTuber, so whatever. So check this out. I'm about to play this for y'all. I hope you can hear it. White people are crazy as fuck. This video. Yeah, we're going to stop it right here. We're going to stop it right the fuck here. And I'm already on deck. This whore bitch. I hope y'all can see it. Her. Her. Let's see if I got another one. Her. Her. Yeah, I screenshot it, you dusty old raggedy bitch. Yeah. That bitch. We gonna get a name for her. A Jason Annie. No, 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 no. Entryway Elise. No, Entryway Ella. Yeah, Ella. Ernestine with your earnest ass. Walking down the street with your whole grandbaby. Oh, Ernest Ernestine, nigga. Oh, Ernest Ernestine keeping that sister from going to go visit her partner. Okay, and blocking the way for him to come for her to come into the apartment building, bitch. I don't want to speak it into existence, but <laughs> and that woman, I am so proud of you, sister. This video's for you, girl. Okay, you could you was laughing. I see you laughing. I see you laughing. I see that the chin was jiggling and shit. Like I could beat this bitch's ass right motherfucking now. And, and he's like, Nana, look, 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 look. Let me show you my little notes, cause I be writing my notes quick. Look, look at that. Look, 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 look. Right here, cause I thought it was eleven times. I said, Nana, please, Nana, please, Nana, Nana, please, Nana, please, Nana. Nana, please. Nana, please. And I put squiggly lines on the ones where he was extra begging. Nana. <laughs> oh, Nana. You about to get fucked up, Nana. Your Nana walking down the street meddling and shit. You need to tell your mama you can't stay with your Nana no more. She is an irresponsible guardian. When you are babysitting children, Nana, you're supposed to keep them out of harm's way. You do not allow your interpersonal racism to affect the child that you are currently in care of. If you were my nana, nana, you would not be allowed to watch my baby anymore. That is inappropriate behavior. We need to have some parental guides. 
when we're in the care of children. Because see, unlike your old raggedy jaded watching niggas getting strung up from trees while you're eating sandwiches ass. That baby grows up around black children. We all on the TV, bitch, eating cereal and shooting basketballs and get hair care and TV shows and we're superstars and we're all on your radio and I know it eats your crack ass up. But see, you're lucky. You didn't get your ass whooped in front of your grandbaby, bitch, because if you would have ran across the right one, you would have got fucked up, man, I Punk ass, raggedy ass, trifling ass, racist ass, crusty, dusty, raggedy haircut, old split ends, having ass two inches from a motherfucking toupee ass bitch. White people, only white people could tell white people how not to be racist because when they hear it from us, they get offended. So I'm gonna need you to take me in now. Back the fuck home, okay, and have her understand it's not 1942 anymore. We will beat your ass. And guess what? I don't even fight. I'm not even going to waste some time. I'm macing your motherfucking ass. Boom, pow. You're knocked down. I'm going to knee you in your face, and I'm going to keep it pushing on you. Nana, you're lucky you ain't running to somebody like me. I do not play fair. I do not play those games. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm almost the old lady, but you can never tell because black don't crack and you're all jealous of that. The girl that had you in the strong arm is really 72. She's really 72 and you're mad because we look better than you. You know what I mean? You know, Janine took your man back in 75 and you feel some kind of way about it. Now you're walking across down the goddamn street with your grandbaby having flashbacks, thinking you're seeing Janine and you're trying to keep her from going into the apartment with the old raggedy ass bitch. These white folks be meddling. What did D.L. Hughley say? The most scariest place for us to be is in white people's imagination. Think about that. I come from a city where we don't even look at people like that, let alone say a good morning, okay? Walking down the street with your motherfucking niece, nephew, your little brother, sister, god, daughter, god, son, cousin, whoever, okay? Walking down the street. You see a black person going into an apartment building and you're going to say you're going in there to rob somebody? Bitch, you don't even live there. I could only imagine you must live in some sort of tra trailer park, efficiency, you know. You can never be on the level, so you must feel some kind of way for this black person to be going into this apartment building and having square bits. It, it must be unusual for a person like you. How unfortunate, you poor, unfortunate soul, you. You was probably going to the store with your EBT card. See, me and my family, we don't depend on the man. You feel me? I mean, you got to do what you got to do, and I've done what I have to have done. But, you know, we all know that white folks is really the folks that's on the stamps. And you're probably down going down the street with your motherfucking EBT, EBT card about to go buy your little grandson some shit. And your grandson, the one that's saving your raggedy, dusty-ass life. If I was you, if I was a person who was a senior citizen over 55 with discounts and everything in every place that I go with more days in front of me than I got, you know, more days behind me rather than I got in front of me. I would keep it nice and humble, cute and on mute if you can feel what I'm saying. Because you're all feeble and shit. This bitch just had her arm like this and you stru struggling to get up out of that. Like, girl, you don't got enough you don't got that no more. You can't walk around no more like you nigger. Now you're like you nigger. No, see that? It's not the 60s. It's not those days. We will fuck you up. You know, and 
you had to learn one day. And she was the one to teach you the lesson. And your grandson better have a wonderful Christmas. Because all those nana, 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 all those too many times. That's child endangerment. You're irresponsible. You're not efficient within your guardianship. You know, you're, you you put children in dangerous situations, whereas when you keep a child, you avoid said situations. And here you are. Got a baby that probably just learned how to spell his name with more sense than you. Ain't that a bitch? You know, they say when you owe, you revert back to childlike behavior. I think this may be the case here. Um... You know, uh, uh, you know, you poor, unfortunate soul. Those poor, unfortunate souls. Mm. So sad, but true. Mm, mm, mm. Um, they'll learn. Anyway, thanks for kicking it with your auntie. Make sure you keep it cute and on mute. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in to the next shit. Peace, love, and hair grease and all that cool jazz. Keep it black, y'all. We got too much to offer. I'm out.